Bladder pumps are often considered to be the ideal low flow sampling pump. The pumps are a submersible pump that uses pressurised air to lift water from depths of 60 metres and beyond. They are predominantly designed to be a dedicated pump due to the fact they can be hard to take apart, clean and decontaminate. However, portable systems are popular and when used correctly can give good sampling results. A setup consists of a controller that sends air to the pump and allows the pump to vent, a compressed air or gas source and the pump itself. The pumps have an air tube and a sample or discharge tube. They use a bladder that fills with sample, then air is used to squash the bladder, forcing the sample up the sample line. The simplest systems have a compressor built into the controller. The pumps work in two cyclical phases. The first is a vent or fill phase. During this time, the controller allows air to vent from the pump through the air tube and controller. This allows the hydrostatic pressure around the pump to force water inside the bladder through a check valve in the base of the pump. The second phase is the discharge. During this phase, the controller supplies compressed air or gas to the pump. This air or gas surrounds and squeezes the bladder without ever coming into contact with the sample. This pressure closes a check valve on the base of the pump where the sample entered and forces the sample up through the check valve on the top of the pump and up the sample tube. This check valve then stops the sample from returning into the bladder during the fill phase. These two phases cycle one after the other. The fill phase should allow time for the bladder to fill and the discharge should allow time for the air line to get the required pressure to raise water from the depth of the pump. The more submerged a pump is, the lower the fill time is needed. The deeper the pump is, the longer the discharge time will be needed to create the pressure needed. As a rule of thumb, 100 psi of pressure is required to raise water from 60 meters, 50 psi from 30 meters, etc. Small compressors tend to raise up to 100 psi of pressure, larger up to 150 psi. So compressors tend to be able to pump down to 90 meters Deeper than this, it is often cheaper and easier to use compressed gas like nitrogen. We have controllers that handle up to 500 psi of pressure that can pump to 300 meters. The most important thing to remember is that the pressure needs to rise enough in order to lift the water from the depth the pump is at. It will then need to vent to zero pressure in order for the pump to fill. If either of these does not happen, you will not get a sample.